How's it going, Carry On? Just uh, what's been the preparation like in practice this week? I know it's rivalry week. You guys are coming off a big win. Been a little similar to what you've seen before, uh, you know, when it comes to playing Clemson? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, as far as, as, far as this goes, I mean, our, our preparation never changes. Uh, I mean, we prepare the same way every single week. Um, I think our coach does a great job of that. Of course, it's rivalry week, but we treat this week the same. Can you kind of talk about the progress that you've seen since Jason Brown first got here through last Saturday night's game? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think his confidence has helped him a lot grow since he first got here. Um, the guy has always prepared as a starter since day one. He's always been prepared, just waiting for his moment. Um, I'm just excited to continue to see him grow and continue to um, help us win. The carry on last year was so weird with uh, COVID, no fans, playing an SEC only schedule. How strange was it for you not to be playing the Clemson game, and how excited are you that the uh, rivalry is back this year? Oh, it was definitely, um, definitely weird. Um, I'm definitely excited this year because this is my first time actually playing versus them. Um, my first year I redshirted, second year I had a concussion. Uh, last year I didn't play them, so this is actually my first time getting a chance to play versus them. So I'm very excited. Um, Interstate rival, um, you know, so I'm excited. Karen, I'm gonna probably ask you this question heading into bowl season, but. Through all the ups and downs, I mean, you have a new coach come in. What was it that kept this team together, especially over these last couple of weeks coming off the bye week, to be able to trust a new coach? And now you guys are obviously going bowling, but now you guys have an opportunity to go into this game and earn your seventh win of the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think it just goes back to us just thinking about the work we put in since day one, um, how the coaches treated us, the work we put in, how we prepare for this moment. Um, but right now, I mean, we're a team that's, that's not satisfied right now. I think from the jump, we've always – we knew we were going to be bowl eligible. We know we had a talent, so we were going to trust our coaches. So it's not really a, a shocker to us, maybe to other people. But right now, like I said, we're not going to play, so we just want to continue to win and continue to progress forward, man. <clears throat> DK, uh, with you being an in-state kid, can you kind of share with us kind of what this, this rivalry was like for your family and friends, classmates when you were in high school? Uh, just what what was this rivalry like kind of growing up for you? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really a guy that watched a lot of college football like that growing up. Um, but from, our, from what I remember, it was always been an intense rivalry. Um, in terms of myself and my family, I was a guy that um, Clemson was, was was one of my top schools coming out of high school for sure. Um, Trevor ended up going there, so I couldn't go. Um, but it's, I mean, it's it's exciting, man. You know what I'm saying? Just be able to just play against the in-state rivalry. Um, guys like Xavier Thomas, KJ Henry, guys are on that team. You know what I'm saying? To get a chance to finally go play versus them for my first time. So I'm excited. DK, you haven't played against them, obviously, but you've kind of been around the program during Clemson week. You've seen some of the atmosphere. Do you, as a South Carolina kid and a guy that's been in the program for a while, talk to some of the out-of-state guys or, or newcomers in terms of what to expect from an atmosphere standpoint on um, Saturday? Yeah, I kind of do share with them because um, I just remember, like, uh, my first year going there, um, we played really well versus them. And even even that second year when I kind of watched them play, um, this week kind of seems a little different, seems a little more intense, um, just kind of naturally, not forcefully. Um, but it's definitely a big game for the state. You know what I'm saying? I think this game is, is huge for us. Like I said, we treat every week the same, but this week is a is, is a turning point for us, to, um, to just, to, just to continue for us to progress forward for the future. DK, you kind of touched on it, but ju just to be able to actually go out there and be able to play against Clemson, I guess, just what does that mean for you after, you know, almost three years of waiting, basically, yeah. now? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's exciting for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to it, just having this opportunity um, to go play versus Coach Sweeney and those guys like that. Um, I'm excited, man. And like I said, like, I treat, it, I treat every week the same, but I'm really excited this week. For the guys that have been in this program for several years like yourself, how important is it to try to flip the script a little bit? It's been since 2013 since you beat these guys. How important is that? How much do you hear that year round? How much is that a factor, you know, outside of the lines when you're playing football? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely exciting. Like I said, this is this is a program changing game for us for us to make a continue to make more statements going forward. Um, I mean, it's like I said, it's exciting, man. We just gotta do our job, man. Play at our best. If we play at our best and they play at our best, we'll come out on top. But you got to go in there with confidence and go in there and just play ball. Carry on. When Shane is talking about the rivalry about Clemson, how does he refer to him? Do you ever hear him say the word Clemson? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. I mean, I heard him this morning say it. You're not supposed to or something? I heard him say it. Yeah. <laughs>
And second, uh, what's your prediction, not for this game, but for Fort D and Dutch Fort? Yeah, my boy's going to take it home, man. I think, I think this is the year we finally get him, man. Um, I'm rooting for my guys. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Davion Joyner, a receiver 14. He has a big game. He has a great he has a great season all year, but I think those boys uh, come out on top. You mentioned this could be a program changing win. Can you expound a little bit more on that? And what could a win Saturday do for you personally in this program in year one under B? Oh yeah, I mean, what I, what I mean by that is just us us getting back to taking the state, taking the state over as our state. You know what I'm saying? Just going uh, recruiting wise, just got, got, just going for it. You know what I'm saying for recruits and stuff like that. Um, for us older guys, just kind of breaking that streak since what you said 2013. I didn't know that, um, but since 2013, breaking that streak and just kind of. Getting the ball back rolling like how it's supposed to be. Karen, over the weekend you posted a photo saying you forgot how much fun this this felt. You know, can you kind of elaborate nice. on that? And I mean, obviously it's well documented your journey throughout college, but what 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 was what was going into your mind when you thought about that post? Man, I'm I'm just like I kind of just took some time to really be grateful for, um, just the just the position I'm in right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm extremely grateful. I'm. I'm genuinely happy, man. You said I'm extremely thankful uh, for Coach Beamer and just Coach Step and all these guys, and all those guys uh, for giving me another opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of just loving us, taking care of us, um, and just just want, want us to be the best. But like I said, I'm I'm grateful, man. I'm happy, and I'm just extremely grateful and I'm blessed, man. I always say that every day I wake up, I say I'm blessed, man, because you don't realize how blessed you are. Um, but I'm just thankful, man. When you look at their defense on film, what do you see? that stands out? It seems like uh, this is going to be one of the better defenses that you've played this year. Yeah, I mean, th those guys are, you know, I mean, you turn on the tape, those guys are very disruptive. Um, they play physical, they play fast, very sound. Um, Coach Venables does a good job of, like I said, making them disruptive and stuff like that. We just got to be disciplined with our eyes and just do us. DK, for you guys as players, when you're in the moment, you know, and Coach Beamer is is exhibiting just that that emotion after a game like like the Auburn game on Saturday. What's it What's it mean for you guys in that moment? How do you, How do you guys absorb what's being What's being put out there into the room, and how does it just sort of change whether it's mentality or or just how you feel about either the game and or your fellow teammates or coaches? Yeah, I mean, I think for us it's just confirmation, um, and, it, and it helps our confidence. Like, we knew from the jump the talent we had in the room. Um, you know what I'm saying? We knew what what we could do. Um, I mean, winning six games was a no was a no brainer for us. Like, we knew from the jump. But I mean, that's not the minimum. You know what I'm saying? But we just knew what what we wanted to do, um, and we actually done it. And, and we're not satisfied right now. We just want to go win the state. Um, that's our next goal right now. And thankful for for Coach Beamer for just loving us and just you know caring about us and. We we just want to play hard for him. You know what I'm saying? Thanking him and just being extremely grateful. So, Dakarian, after that Auburn game, how much of what y'all did offensively is replicable um, that you can carry over to this Clemson game? And how where's the offensive confidence right now coming off a, a game where you outscored them 21 to three to end it? Yeah, um, I mean it kind of just depends. Like schematically, I won't get into that, but. Um, we're just gonna whatever we do best, uh, whatever we did best from the Auburn game, uh, take that forward to this week and continue just to build. Um, but I think it comes down to us, us executing, um, us being disciplined, and us just being coachable, man. I think we, if we do those things um, and just do what we're supposed to do, we'll be fine. You mentioned Coach Step being <clears throat> being a big help for you. What what has he done for for you and and the group of receivers as a whole as, as you guys have? Coach yeah, Step, yeah, Coach Step. Yeah, um, he's a guy that just loves us tremendously, man. Um, he's a guy that 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 we want to play hard for. Um, he takes care of us. Let me take care of us. Um, just extremely grateful for what, what he what he's done for us. Um, the love he put the love he put inside the room, how he teaches us, uh, allowing us to be coachable and just I don't know, just extremely grateful for him, man, because he's he's done so much not just for me personally, man. But I know a lot of other guys can speak for um, speak for myself as well, so. Extremely grateful for him and just thankful. Appreciate it, DK. Thank you.